Well, my name's Chris Gregory. Uh, my occupation is I do the opening act here at Durango High School as AM custodian, or I like to be referred to as janitor. I'd like you to tell me about the, um, the award and how that, how that came about for you. Well, I know that there's over 264,000 public high schools in the United States. Um, putting in applications, which was done by a lady who works here, uh, Melinda Michaels, uh, she interviewed us all, got teachers and staff to write letters supporting us, goes to Washington, D.C. In December, we were notified that of all the high schools, we were within the top 30 being nominated. To me, that was enough. January, they told us of that top 30, we were among the top five. That thrilled me, and then in February, called into the principal's office. I was told that uh, I was gonna be representing Durango High School in Washington, D.C., and pick up the award, and whew, what, what an honor and what a privilege that really is, Mike. Is it number one we got? No, uh, we were within the top five, oh, okay. and there was a number one, uh, Barry Crocker out of Lee County, or Cobb County down in Georgia. Great guy, all wonderful people. We, we conversed and shared a lot, but they're all great people up there. What do you, what do you think it is about you and your crew that put you ahead? Well, we work really tremendous as, as a team. You know, in getting things done and making sure uh, we get pretty rough winters down here, but kids come into school, all the walks, our sanded roads are clear, parking's done. Um, we're ahead of the city or the county and getting our lots and things cleared. And we don't have many slip, falls, injuries, which is very good in the halls. As you can see, we keep them up pretty clean, the restrooms and everything. Kids get sick, which happens. Okay, we're right there to uh, pick it up. We're not afraid to move a class out of the room, so while we're cleaning up, we're not disturbing the class, send them to other rooms. And another big feature, I don't know if you're familiar with the Discovery Program by Eric Larson, I attended that this summer, which is taking individual attention on students and working with them, which I've instituted in lunch detention. And I've had over 180 degree change with students over previous years. So much so that kids cutting out on class, rather than going up to Doughboys for donuts or the skate park, they come down and they say, hey, Chris, what can we do to help out, you know? Can we rake some leaves? Can we remove some ice? And they're asking for things. Send them to their assistant principal. They have a talk with them, and then they're right back out helping me. And I really like that, you know? So we have a very close one-on-one -on -one association with the students. I think that makes a big difference. I thought they'd be here in the morning watching me raise the flag, which I'm... I'm proud of every day because we live in a very beautiful country, best country in all the world. We've got some problems. We're not perfect, but we'll never be perfect. But we got one great school living in one great country. I'm very proud to be an American. This is a picture that was given out down in Washington, D.C., telling a little bit about the team and, you know, some of the things we're doing. Uh, I was quite proud of this, brought a number of them back, give them to the teachers and the staff here. And of course my neighbors around where I live and everything, and places I do business where they're pretty proud of that. Durango FFA, that's the Future Farmers of America. Uh, this was under Mr. Ortiz, Robert Ortiz's class. And it's a teacher's support award. But they presented it to me, saying that I was the most uh, supportive member of the staff here. I was invited to their dinner, which I normally attend. Um, then they started talking about this guy who's doing all these things for him. I got kind of envious. And then they called me up, and <laughs> I was really amazed by that. But uh, 
proud to be a member of any of the groups that are helping out here. Why do you like janitor over uh, custodian? Uh, cutting to the chase on that, Mike, uh, the term custodian comes from Latin custos, which means overseer, care of, more like security. Janitor comes from a god they had, Janus or Jairus, uh, which was the first god domestic or militarily they went to to see what direction they go through from there. And we get the word January for it being the first month of the year where we're looking ahead but recalling what was behind. Janitors, we always know what's coming ahead and we always know what come behind. And when teachers or staff have problems, they generally come to the janitors and say, hey, uh, this is our trouble. We can direct them to facilities or counseling or we can take care of manners ourselves. There's quite a bit of history behind the word janitor. I had no idea. <laughs> Most people don't. <laughs>